Hi guys, it's Tiff. I hope everybody is doing very well. Today, ladies and gents, maybe it's just ladies, I'm not sure, um, or it could just be gents. Anyway, completely sidetracked myself already. We've got a very exciting video today, guys, because I'm doing my September favourites, and I've never done a favourites video before. But, I feel like in September I found some proper gems that I want to share with you all. You've probably seen most of them anyway because I would have spoken about them, but I thought why not do a dedicated video to my September favourites, you know? Um, so, let's just get on with the video. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like categories, so like makeup, skincare, clothes, etc. So, I'm going to start with skincare first of all. Now, you will remember that when I was trying the Sally Hughes skincare range with um, Revolution, I said that my skin didn't work well with cleansing balms. Well, since then, <laughs> I don't know why, but so the Sally Hughes uh, face wash, I can't remember, I think it was called Clean Sheet, I think that's what it was called. It was a very oily um, cleansing balm, basey type product. And I just thought like, if my skin is okay with that, then it should be okay with like cleansing balms, right? So, I went to Boots at the beginning of September, I think it was, or the end of August, and I picked up the Clinique Take the Day Off cleansing balm. Guys, what have I been doing my whole bloody life? This is absolutely incredible. Incredible. I love it. I absolutely love it. The texture is amazing. I mean, you can see how much I've used it. The texture is amazing. It just melts your makeup off. It's so easy to remove. 100% would buy this again. So yeah, Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm is my first official favorite for September. We love her. The second skincare product that I have is a vitamin C serum. Again, you will know or remember from my Sally Hughes review that I said like the vitamin C serum really helped reduce the scarring. Um, on my skin and I really wanted to kind of carry on using vitamin C so the Sally Hughes one was very um, affordable and I just wondered like if I branched out and I paid a bit more for my serum what's he doing oh sorry he's giving himself a wash I just thought if I pay a bit extra for another serum will I see a big result and yeah let me tell you I have the serum I'm talking about is the beauty pie um, super dose C this is absolutely incredible incredible like when I say my skin has transformed like you'll probably see in my videos that I filmed one the other day um, what I eat in a day I didn't have any makeup on then you will see that my skin has significantly cleared up like my scars have reduced like and it's all down to this. I genuinely believe it's all down to this. And maybe the cleansing balm too, because my skin's not being dried out, but this is absolutely incredible. Now, what I will say is it's a very, very expensive item. Reese. What I would say is it's a really expensive product on its own. So if you don't have a Beauty Pie subscription, which I did when I purchased this, you get this for like 40 quid, but it's actually meant to be like around 80, 90, if I can remember correctly. Vitamin C, guys. Vitamin C is a lifesaver. Now, the next thing I have for skincare is this beautiful Glow Recipe Plum Pump Moisturizer. This is amazing. I absolutely love it. Also, can I just say, like, I did order this uh, in obviously a shop that I did a while ago. I actually thought this was going to be a lot bigger than it is. Um, it is really small. It's like, I guess it's like their travel size. Um, so I was a bit bummed out by that. But it's okay because I do love it and I will 100% be purchasing this again. The full size, like, it is beautiful. The texture is beautiful. The. Um, the scent's beautiful, like the way it goes on the skin, it's just like so, let me see if I can show you, like it's so thin, it's like almost like water, 
and it just makes your skin feel so hydrated. Oh my God, I absolutely love it. And I'm pretty sure there's also ingredients in the moisturizer that also helps with scarring. So that's probably why I've seen a big reduction in my scars because of the vitamin C and this lovely product. But yeah, definitely love it 100%. Now, the next thing I wanted to talk about uh, for skincare, I actually use them today and they are my exfoliating um, mitts, I guess, from Primark, the Mickey Mouse ones. They're wet at the moment, so I couldn't bring them on camera, but they are amazing. If you, if you tan on a regular basis and you don't have an exfoliating mitt, babe, go out and get one. Honestly, it will change your life. I'm not sitting there scrubbing for ages with a flannel trying to get it off. Like, I just lay in the bath for 10 minutes, let my skin get all wet and like, you know, it soaks up the water. And then I just start scrubbing and it comes off, it comes off like a dream. And kind of just bringing in this because of the exfoliating. But this is the um, Pearl de Coco Glow Body Wash by Other Story. This is so nice. I bought this from ASOS when I did my ASOS haul in the sale. I think it was like six pounds maybe. Oh my God, it is beautiful. I mean, the color first of all, it's beautiful it's got like flecks of glimmer in it is glimmer it's got flecks of shimmer and glitter in it as well so when you're in the bath like you're washing there's like you've got like glitter you feel like a princess and it smells incredible it smells like the bum bum cream and um, if anyone's ever used that so the, the exfoliating mitt and this body wash you need them you, you need them go and get them okay and speaking of tan as well i just wanted to mention this it's the skinny tan tan and tone wonder serum it's in the uh shade medium dark i picked this up it was on special offer and i didn't really have high hopes you know um i didn't really have high hopes for this but i thought i'm gonna buy it and i'm gonna try it anyway and see if it's okay if it's not mm, isn't the end of the world well let me tell you I bloody love this. I absolutely love it. Like it, it comes with a pump like this, which I like. And it's like when it comes out, it's not a foam. It's like a liquid, a gel. I would say it's a gel consistency, and it just goes on so nicely. Um, I will say this is my base tan at the moment. I haven't washed it off because I rubbed my tan off this morning, and I put another layer of tan on in the afternoon because me and Connor are going out for our anniversary dinner tonight. So. I didn't want to go out of any tan on. But anyway, <laughs> I really, really like this. It goes on lovely and the color's amazing, especially like when you wash it off. I'm probably gonna leave this on for, you know, the night now and then tomorrow I'll wash it off. But it just gives you an amazing color. Like you don't look orange, if that makes sense. Like it's just a really, really nice color and I love it. So yeah, the Skinny Tan, Tan and Tone Wonder Serum, guys. I would highly recommend this as well. That's all the products for skincare. Um, so I guess let's just move on. Should we do clothes? I've only got, yeah, we'll just do clothes because I've only got one pair of shoes basically. And if you can't guess what this pair of shoes are, then I mean, we can't be friends. The shoes or boots, shall I say that I'm talking about are the H&M beige like big heel or like block heel ankle boots i love them i absolutely love them and i also love the tall ones as well i've got the short and the tall both of them they have my heart you're going to be seeing me wearing these all through autumn all through winter maybe during the summer next year but yeah i absolutely adore these right so now let's move on to makeup so the first thing I'm gonna talk about is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. I've been using this for months, guys. I've been using it for months, and every time I use a different foundation, I never like how it looks on my face. There's always something wrong with it. It's always too full coverage or not enough coverage, and it's too matte, it's too dewy, blah, blah, blah. This is absolutely perfect. It's my perfect foundation. I absolutely love it. Whenever someone says to me, like, what's your favorite foundation? I always say this because I absolutely love it. Like, it gives you such good coverage, but you're not too matte, you're not too um, dewy. 
the coverage is fantastic like you put it on and it covers everything it doesn't look like you've hardly got anything on like i just can't explain it it's just incredible um i have the shade santa fe because i use it obviously and i wear tan so it's darker than my actual skin color but this guys if you have never tried this please go out and try it i promise you you will not regret it i love it love it the second makeup product that i have is the catrice true skin high coverage concealer now i use this i used i used this oh my god i used this in one of my recent videos and i was so shocked by how good this was i'd used it previously and for some reason it didn't appeal to me at that particular point i can't remember why but now i absolutely love it like it's genuinely my favorite concealer at this moment in time it's all i've been using i would always use the too faced born this way concealer but that's this has replaced that which is kind of bl mind blowing for me because i never thought i'd see the day where i'd be choosing something else over the born this way concealer but yeah again if you haven't tried this guys please try if you haven't tried anything out of all of the products that i've spoken about try this because it's probably the most affordable thing and it's so bloody good the color i have is 002 neutral ivory it's very light but i do like a light under eye um but yeah love it love it the last skincare product thing that i have is my fit me maybelline well Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless uh, Powder. Game changer, absolute game changer. I'd heard so many people say like, this is so good, you should try it, blah, blah, blah. And I never did. And now I'm so glad that I have because it's incredible. Um, I actually prefer this over the Laura Mercier powder. Like I said before in one of my videos, I'm not really a fan of the Laura Mercier powder. I used to be, and I'm not sure recently, it's just not what like vibing with my skin. It like, just makes my skin look so matte. And like, it does this thing where it makes my under eyes look darker. It's just odd, but yeah, this doesn't do that. It's fantastic. It's so like finely milled that when you put it on, there's not like a layer like sitting on your skin, if that makes sense. It, like kind of just sinks into the skin and it keeps me matte for a long time so again you need this boo and the final product that i have this is like a homeware product i guess so in my primark haul you would have seen that i picked up this lovely um what's it called again air diffuser or reed diffuser guys this is so beautiful and it was so cheap like oh my god like the, in my it's in my room and there's times where i walk past my room what are you doing no i don't think so yeah this is gorgeous it sits in my room and i walk in my room and i get a whiff and i'm just like oh my god you smell so good um but honestly another thing that you need just another thing that you need to make your house just smell inviting friendly warm like i just love it absolutely love it Okay, well, that is the end of my first ever favourites video. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I upload on a Tuesday and a Saturday, so make sure you put the bell notification on so you don't miss any notifications. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.